guess it was it was made for him according to measurements taken. Uh, he's, he's had it since he was six. It's six okay, years ready? old, very long lasting. Ready. So when you're walking the telling ring, oh no, I live in central London and thankfully it's I live near the financial district and you have a lot of green patches, including places like this. So what I do is I he's not in the mood to walk today. So what I'm doing is I'm walking him down this green patch. Terry, you should go in front. Yes. Or you go there. Bring my camera with yeah, so the basically thing. these kind of green patches, you know, you can walk through here and uh, this is Devonshire Square by the way um, and yeah, I mean, explore the green patches, explore the, it gives them, uh, my theory is that Italian greyhounds do love the outdoors, you know, um, as much as they love lazing around on a sofa or, or in bed, but um, I think today the weather is rather mild I said it's not really cold as such. That's why I have put him in this coat. So this is his autumn coat. You know, it has a nice little lining inside, like wool lining, you know. So, and a harness is better than dragging them, you know, walking them by the neck. Because they have very slender necks. So I think a harness is the best option for an Italian Greyhound. So now I'm walking this way. And this is actually part of one of our walks. Um, and we, it's going on the grass again. Hmm. Just to give them a connection to their, I don't know, natural habitat <laughs> centuries ago, thousands of years ago. But, um, and it's very quiet, so it's also a good time to walk Italian Greyhounds when it's a quiet time, not too crowded, you know. And uh, you should also watch out for other dogs because certain breeds, especially French Bulldogs, Bulldogs, Staffies, uh, can get either overly excited or sometimes aggressive towards Italian Greyhounds because my theory is that the pheromone that the Italian Greyhounds secrete definitely has a certain scent to it, you know. And they also, if those of you with Italian Greyhounds would know that they do have a lovely scent. A lot of them do have a nice smell. And while walking the dog in crowded areas, I mean, there are no crowds here today, but if the area is crowded, it's best to carry the dog and not to walk the dog through the crowds because if somebody accidentally steps on his paw you know his knuckle might crack because they're so delicate so that's the reason why and also you know dog theft is on the right so you have to be careful and another trick is um, when I'm walking him through a crowded area I do the lead like this you know I twist it around my hand and I keep a short lead so that he's really next to me he's close to me if I have, it on a long, have him on a long lead like this, you know. Sometimes, you know, people can get in the way. Somebody's bag might knock on him. There might be a cyclist that comes out of nowhere. There might be another dog that could jump at him, you know. So it's always good to keep, him, keep them on a short lead and keep it firm, you know, because they do tend to get excited when they see pigeons or um, squirrels and they can pounce up, you know, and you don't want the lead to slip off, um, which can be dangerous. And um, given that they were bred originally for hunting small animals and to keep vermin at bay, I think they still have that instinct in them. So when they see squirrels or pigeons, they jump. So that's the reason why you should be careful. And I would never recommend letting the Italian Greyhound off the lead in a park or anywhere. Unless, of course, it's secure, you know, enclosed garden maybe. Um, or maybe along the beach in the countryside in a private secu secluded area. So, um, look at how he's sitting. So that, uh, this is the collar, and you've got, he, he is chipped, he's chipped and he's microchipped. And then this is the basic, mo the mobile number is there, just in case, God forbid, he gets lost. I don't think he will, because I'm extremely careful with him. Touch wood. This is wood. Just, yeah, done. <laughs> Subcontent.